Hello everyone, this is Vitaly, the developer of Multiconfig Web. As you may notice, the website is down for some time, and I have bad news for you. I stopped hosting the website, in other words, it will not be accessible for the public. But I am going to show you how you can install it on your computer, so you can run it locally. To do so, you need to install Docker Desktop application. And uh, I'm not going to show you how to do so because installation process for different platforms is different and I don't even have access to Mac or Windows OS. I'm using Linux OS. But I assume if you follow these uh, tutorials or instructions um, you should be able to install it without any problems. When installation is done just open it up and I assume it should look very similar on all platforms. And now let's uh, search for the uh, images from the Docker Hub. Uh, now we need to select the Images tab and type in by chemist slash and you will see that there are two images. We need to run it on your computer and to do so just select the uh, front end first and click run. Uh, depending on your system configuration it might take several minutes but in my case it might take even less than a minute. So let's wait for it. Now uh, we have this uh, window and we need to apply some modifications. For example, we need to enter the host port which is exactly the same as a container port 9000. And then click run. As you see, our image is up and running. So this is the just the user interface or the website uh, multiconfig web. But we need to also to download the uh, backend. This is where the, all the magic happens, all transformations and conversions. But to uh, open the uh, front end or actual website, I just click on the uh, localhost 9000 uh, on this URL or on this URL, it doesn't matter. It may take uh, several seconds to load uh, the uh, user interface. So while it's loading, let's go ahead and uh, return back to the search bar and now select the backend and click run. This one might take uh, longer because uh, the image is uh, bigger. So I will pause the video and come back when it's done. Alright, so it took approximately two or three minutes on my system, but in your case it depends uh, on your configuration. Here again we need to apply some modifications. So we need to enter port uh, 5000 and click run. Alright so it started without any problems and now we are ready to use the website. I've made several modifications and now I would like to demonstrate them. Let's draw a structure and click convert. Previously a mol file was generated and then you had to click submit button in order to get the config format. Now config format is generated directly. Also if you want to retrieve the structure from the database, let's say aspirin and you need to modify the structure for example this is like a precursor 
and you want to add some functionality to it, uh, you need to go to the settings page and then check the first option. Now you need to go back, type again aspirin and now the structure is inserted into the sketch as well. Perform any modifications you need and voila it's done. So um, let's assume that this structure is not that big but if you need a um, more complex structure and you need more space to draw it of course you can uh, use the uh, scroll bars uh, but it would be more convenient to use a maximized uh, composer if you opened accidentally and you don't need to modify the structure you just close it but in case you do need to modify the structure let's assume that you edit some stuff and you can uh, directly click convert and all uh, modifications will be applied also there are two tips uh, when you hover over the options you want to apply to the structure and if it's get really annoying uh, you can uh, disable them on the settings page by uh, selecting the third option now you see that it's uh, not popping up but also you notice that we had structure in the sketcher but when we moved to another page and came back it disappeared in case you want to preserve it into the sketcher let's go back to the settings page and uh, select the second option and now let's draw a new structure convert go let's go to the reaction now go back and the reaction is uh, no, not reaction but the structure is uh, preserved and when you are done just copy the config format and of course you can uh, apply uh, modifications as previously if you need the compact view as well as you can uh, reset now let's talk about the reaction page previously there was a separate section for the reaction conditions but in this version we can use the sketcher in order to implement them to demonstrate that I'm not going to use the real chemical reaction I will just select the uh, red random structures let's assume that we have a reaction something like this let's uh, convert it just to make sure that it's working and now we want to add reaction conditions if we want to add formula we need to use the formula tool Oops. and then for example we want to add uh, temperature and time let's say 24 hours 50 degrees C it's a very important to have the arrow longer than the reaction conditions for example if you have something like this it will fail to generate a proper config format now click convert let me zoom in and as you noticed as long as you keep this format number and the capital uh, letter C without any space it will automatically generate the degree Celsius um, sign so and also uh, let's assume that you need to add more stuff uh, let's go with the plus sign or add symbol once again I will uh, select the random structure you click convert and uh, this is the result please keep in mind that the output 
the alignment of the structures in your output will be different depending on the, uh, on the structure. And all these uh, adjustments or the um, uh, uh, structures, um, reaction conditions should be done locally in your local uh, computer, not using the multi config web in your LaTeX uh, document. And another uh, trick, and uh, as well as in uh, a molecules page, you can disable the uh, pop-ups, go into settings, you can hide tools, and also you can preserve the drone structure in the composer by selecting the first one. So now when we go back, it's gone, but let me draw it quickly. Now when you go back, it's preserved. If you need to save your reaction in order to work on it later, you can save it by clicking the save button and make sure to select Kekul chemical JSON format and press OK. Now let's open it, let's refresh the page and uh, open it by loading from your disk. By default the name is unnamed but please make sure to rename it as you need and open it. Now click convert. This way uh, you can uh, save uh, reactions or uh, formulas and you can work on it whenever you like. It's especially uh, convenient if you have many reactions and you can uh, keep track of them or if you need to apply any modifications later. So just make sure to save them as a Kekul chemical JSON format. All right, I think that I covered pretty much all modifications. And here on the reaction page, it's uh, similar to the molecules page. So uh, you can deactivate the pop-ups and also preserve the drone structure in the composer for the reaction as well. And also you can maximize the composer, apply all uh, changes that you need click convert button and everything will be done uh, automatically then copy the config format and paste into your latex document all right so i think that i covered all modifications i wanted to share with you and thank you very much for your time and uh, good luck i forgot to mention one more thing so when you're done working with the uh, multi-config web you need to close the browser and then uh, go to the docker desktop select the containers and stop both containers otherwise they will be working in the background and they will consume uh, your computer's resources so next time when you want to work with a multi-config web you need to uh, select the containers and start both of them please make sure to start both of them otherwise it will not work then uh, you, you need to navigate to the local host 9000 and as you see the website is loading such a way you can uh, control when you want to work with the uh, docker images or not let's wait for another second All right, so uh, thank you very much for your time and uh, have a good one.